So you've got yourself a Nintendo Switch. It's been out for a little while now, and you're starting to notice that your Joy-Con just isn't sitting on that Nintendo Switch as well as it used to. It slides right off every time you start getting into a really deep game session. Well, let's find out what the problem is and how to fix it, coming up. Hey Tubers, it's Ben the Curious Consumer, and today we're going to take a look at the Joy-Con on the Nintendo Switch. With the Joy-Con, we all know there's this little button on the back. Well, most of us know that anyway. And that's how you're supposed to be getting your Joy-Cons on and off of your system. By pressing the button right here on the back, you press the button in, and you slide the Joy-Con off. Also, I'm going to use this Joy-Con as reference because it's pink. You could actually see the marking here. So this is the minus button. When you have this piece here that slides onto your Joy-Con, you need to make sure that the minus matches the minus. That way when you slide it into place, it clicks into place. Then you can always take it off. Of course, being careful, you have to press the button here. Notice it doesn't just come right off. You have to press the button down and it pops right off. All you gotta do is put a little pressure there, you push the button in and slide it off. Sometimes people have done it backwards where they think they're doing it right and actually put it in the wrong way there's like a little piece of plastic in here that's square. And the more times it pops off instead of pressing the button, the, it's only a little plastic piece, that little plastic piece wears down. Once it wears down, you start getting stuff like this. So I'm gonna slide it in, here's the minus, here's the minus, just slide it into place. But now, it just pops right off and I don't even have to press the button. And just like that on my Nintendo Switch, when I slide it into place, it comes right off. I could actually just tap it and it pops right off. I don't have to actually press the button. This one's pretty bad. Whereas this one here, when I slide it into place, it's in there nice and tight. And in order to get it off, I have to press a little button on the back here. It releases it, it comes right off. Now, this Joy-Con still works. The only problem is, is that little latch. And that little latch needs to sit right in here. Well, what do you do to fix that? Luckily, I found this product on Amazon and I will leave a link in the description below so you can grab one for yourself and try this mod if, or fix if you're having the same issue. This piece is called the My Pen Metal Lock Buckle Repair and Tool Kit. I found it on Amazon. It's roughly about 10 bucks and it's 10 bucks well spent considering the fact that buying a new one of these Joy-Cons will cost you roughly around 50 bucks or a double pack for 80. So this will actually uh, fix the problem by putting in a part or replacing the part that's inside. It comes in this package here, gives you your two screwdrivers, one tri-wing screwdriver and one regular screwdriver, and it gives you four metal parts as opposed to the plastic parts that are inside. So this kit here, like I said, comes with four of these parts, two for the left Joy-Con, two for the right Joy-Con. Today we're going to fix my left Joy-Con, my gray Joy-Con here. Um, and it's a simple process. It, it should only take you about five to 10 minutes. And as a matter of fact, uh, the longest part that it's going to take us in this video is basically me explaining how to do it. So let's jump right into it. Let's not waste any time. Um, what we're gonna do is just gonna open this bad boy up and we're gonna make sure that the parts come out. So I've got my, uh, I believe this is the tri-wing. So my tri-wing screwdriver here, a regular screwdriver here, and we're gonna take apart the Joy-Con and we're gonna find out which parts we actually need first. So what we need to do is unscrew these four uh, tri-wing screws. I actually have one of these uh, guitar pick pry tools that I could use here. And again, I'm just gonna be really careful and all I'm gonna do is kinda of just get underneath the plastic here. You can see how I could pull it apart. And I'm just gonna run it down the side. So you just gotta use your fingernails at first. So I got one piece here. I'm gonna lift it up nice and easy all the way around. You don't wanna to put too much pressure there because you definitely do not wanna rip the ribbon cables. And you just wanna pop it nice and easy nice and easy and when you get it it'll come up like this 
and there's those ribbon cables. You see them right there, one there and one there. You do not want to pull that apart. And how you take this rail off is there's a little screw right here, and it's a Phillips head screw, screw which is the other screwdriver that came with the kit. I'm going to take that off and nice and easily remove that so it doesn't pull the ribbons off. So we're just going to do that really quickly here, nice and simple. I'm just going to unscrew it like that. And you want to be careful because you don't want to strip the plastic. So when you try to put this back on, and there you go. So this little gray piece right here is the, the culprit. We got to get that piece out. And how do we do it? We got to unscrew the screw here. And be careful, there is a spring on the inside. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna use my Phillips head screwdriver and I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna do it with my hand over the metal piece, just in case that spring decides to shoot. I don't wanna shoot that spring across the room. I wanna make sure it's nice and secure. There's the screw for that part. And now there's a little latch there. You wanna be really careful when you pull that piece out. And I'm trying to make sure there's a little spring underneath it there. And what you wanna do is just kinda of like pry it out nice and easily. Got that piece straight out and you can see it's just a little metal bracket you just want to make sure that metal bracket goes in the same way that you took it out and I'm also going to pull out the button nice and easy I do not want it to spring away I definitely don't want to lose that spring I'm gonna do this with two hands and there you go I pulled it up a little bit and what you want to do is you just want to get the, the spring on the screwdriver so it doesn't pop off on that screwdriver. So you can see there's a spring here. You want to make sure that spring doesn't shoot across the room. So now that I know what part, where all the parts are, I'm going to take the spring. I'm just going to put that aside. And here is the plastic piece. Um, and right here, is where it's all worn down. And I know you can't really see that on my camera, but it's all worn down right here. So I need to find the same piece in my kit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna match them up and find where the, where the slides are. This is a metal, all metal construction piece. So this should last me a lot longer than that plastic piece I had before. So let's just slide that spring right back into place here. My apologies on not being able to get super duper close to this, but when you're doing it on your own, just follow the basic instructions. You should be able to do this just fine. So I'm going to slide that into place there, but I'm going to use my screwdriver to get that spring pushed back in. Right, got the spring in there, making sure that's in place. Good. Let's just push it down. Nice and easy. Again, you do not want that piece to pop out. So I just basically pushed it in, clicked it into place, pushed it down. Now it's time to put the metal bracket back on. And there's two little areas where the two edges of the bracket, there's two edges of the bracket. Those edges of the bracket will actually slide into place here. Don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but I'll try to get it on camera the best I can. There are two slots one right here and one right there on the end and that's where we're going to slide this bracket there we go perfect let me get my screw
you're gonna slide this this piece here is gonna overlap this hole here and then the screw goes on the top and it's the silver screw according to what I just saw in here so I got to make sure my screw is the silver screw and I'll slide it back into place screw in place here and I'm gonna screw it right back in right back on so then that way my rail is back in place I can then reset and make sure your ribbon cables get pushed back into where they were and I can reset all the, the rest when I push it together you'll hear a nice little click now all I got to do is put my four tri-wing screws back into place here and we will be all set and I'll be able to test this out All right, so now you can kind of see that shiny piece in there. And that shiny piece right there is my new latch. So I'm gonna use it here. Here's the minus and the minus. We're gonna slide it into place. And I should hear a nice snap. There it is. And look at that, not coming off, right? I gotta press the button on the back, press it down. And there it goes, slides right off. Let's try it on my switch. Slide this back down. And before, as before, I can hit the bottom, it's not coming off. It's on there, nice and snug. I have to press the button on the back, and I can hear that nice click on there. That sounds so good. And it's in there, it's on. But it's that simple to fix. The MyPin Metal Lock Buckles Repair Kit on Amazon, well worth the 10 bucks to keep your controllers and your Nintendo Switch nice and safe well guys that's going to do it for me i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you like videos like this leave a comment down below if you'd like to see more if you haven't done so already consider subscribing to the channel and hey guys don't forget to ring that bell down there once you subscribe so you get notified every time i make a new video guys again i really do appreciate you stopping by and i will catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching